Hello, it's Parm King again, and today on our Dungeon Master Tips, we're going to talk about creating a map and journal for your players to use. Um, and I'm going to be using, in this case, since we're running a Curse and Strahd campaign, a player's map for Curse and Strahd. So why are maps and journals uh, important to use for the player, especially in virtual rolltop playing? Well, it provides two different things. First, it shows distance and locations where the adventurers were going to have to travel to throughout the campaign. And secondly, it's a place where they can keep notes and records of places that they visited. And how are we going to do this through the Foundry system? Well, the first thing we're going to do is going to take a map that we're, the players are going to have access to. So in my campaign, the players acquired this map in the village of Barovia. And this is the map that they're going to be using throughout the campaign to travel throughout uh, the region of Barovia to the different towns and the different locations. There's some amazing maps out there which you can find on Reddit. You can find just online various uh, places that people make for different campaigns, including maps that are available in the campaign books. Some of the suggestions that I recommend on maps that you give to players, you want something that's not going to be hyper detailed on it. I like to give something to the players that looks more like a traditional type of map that would you'd see from the era. The scaling might not be exact. It gives some locations, some primary locations. Maybe there's some icons on the map that represent ruins and, and what have you. So what we're going to do is you're going to take this picture and you're going to create a scene in Foundry. And a scene in Foundry is just done in here. Um, what I have here is a scene which we call Bro uh, Brovia Maps, and I called this one the Brovia Player Map. And so you're going to, when you open this up to configure a new scene, you're going to just load your pictures into the background here. The second thing you're going to do is going to create either some kind of grid style. I used uh, hexagons. Uh, as my grid style and one of the things that you want to do is when you create the hexa hexagons and you can kind of see them here uh, what you want to do is give your hexagon some kind of scale now my map's not drawn to scale and what I've explained to the to the players that every hexagon is approximately an hour by travel on on horse at a moderate pace or perhaps about two hours on foot and that gives them a rough idea from location to location, how long it's going to be. Again, this map is not meant to be accurate. This map is only meant to give the players an idea of the locations and allow them to keep journal entries of the places that they've been. The second thing you do is once you've scaled your map, whether you're using um, hex or some type of grid system um, and you have your map all loaded up on there correctly, you're gonna create a player character token. And what I've done here, it's one token that we've created in our players here. Let me just open that up real quick. This one token right here is what we call the adventurer's token. And what the adventurer's token is, is it's shared by all, um, all players. And it doesn't really have anything in here. It's nothing important. You can, you can actually put a a biography in here if you want to of the of the players um, who does it represent if you'd like to uh, or a journal entry whatever you have but really what's most important is the token the next thing on the token that you need to do is right click on the token make sure you config configure positions and give all players observer status you're going to move the token on the map not the players this is so that the players can see where they're, they are on the map currently, so that you're able to describe to the players where they are. Um, so they're only be, going to be really looking at the token icon on the map. So you're going to make all players observers of the token. They won't be able to move the token. Place the token on the screen where the players are. In this case, my players are currently in, oh, currently in Barovia. And so now you have your player token. I just used a shield uh, symbol. And so now we've done um, several things. We have a map the players can all relate to. There's a, a single frame of reference. We've put a hexagon grid system, giving them a rough idea of travel 
Um, I, instead of saying miles or kilometers, what I like to do is give them an idea of either traveling by horse or in carriage or by foot. So again, uh, my grid icon, my hexagon represents one hour of travel by horse or approximately, <coughs> excuse me, two hours of travel by, by foot. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create some journal entries. And in the journal entries, we're going to create a section called Maps. And in your map journal entries, oh, here we go, is you're going to be putting in locations where they've already visited. In here, you're going to, you can pre-put in other locations, and then you're going to share those locations and put in just a brief description. So the first location that I created was... Um, the Gates of Barovia. This is a picture, a still image. I don't recommend using animated images in the journal entry. This is a still image from James RPG Art. I'll put a link um, to his uh, Patreon page. Highly recommend it. He makes still image and animated images. And then I put some brief text of what occurred back in there. Uh, in there, the party had camped at the gates with Ligari waiting to meet the Vistani. At night, Ligari was murdered. The party was attacked by wolves and escape through the gates of Barovia. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to drag from the maps that token onto the map. And I've already done that, so I'm just going to turn them on right here. So you're going to drag this on gates of Barovia. You're going to put it here, and then you're going to assign uh, an image to it. We're going to, I'm going to actually delete this one, and we're going to just do it here. In fact, I'll delete all of these. And we'll just do them again so you can see what I did. So these are the locations that they've already been to. So I'm going to drag Gates of Barovia onto the map. We're going to put it right here. It's going to ask you what kind of icon you want to use um, for the gates. And here are my the gates. I think what I'm going to use is the uh, uh, obelisk um, icon. Uh, and now it's on the map. Uh, for them to be able to view and click on. When you click this icon over here, this will allow it to show up on the map because when the characters are, are going to be on the map, this is what they're going to be able to see, right? So they're gonna have this vision. And then if you have this clicked on to the little pin, then any of the journal entries that you've pinned to the map will show up. And so they can just, as they're, as they're in the game, they can just click over on the journal entry, open it up, see the image. Now, the next thing you're going to do on the journal entry over here is right click on the journal entry, configure permission, and make all players owner. Now, why would you make all the players owner? Well, this is what you're actually doing. You're creating a very um, simple, Journal entries under the headings called map, putting in a little bit of text and a photo, giving all the players owners so they can write to it or share notes with one another at that particular location. So let's do the other ones that my players have visited. Uh, when they got through the uh, the gates of Barovia, they visited the, they got into the uh, Slavic woods here, and we're gonna put that right here. And we're this image, a, Woods image, we're going to actually make an oak tree. And there you have the oak tree. They visited, I rewrote um, Death House, which is a uh, entry level one through three adventure in Curse of Strahd. Uh, I rewrote it to Count Lugosi. If you're interested in my revamping the Death House, there's videos one and two uh, on my YouTube page. It shows you what I did to totally revamp Death House into Count Lugosi's Manor, which is in a tribute to Bela Lugosi and Boris Karloff, two famous actors that uh, kind of gave birth to the gothic horror of Dracula and Frankenstein. So they, as soon as they, my adventurers got through the gates of Barovia, they found the Count Lugosi Manor, whoop, Count Lugosi Manor, which was located approximately right here off the road in which they, um, they ventured to. I didn't pop up there. Let me just put it there again. And we're just going to make this a, a house. I think there's a house in here, house icon. And there it is. There's the house icon. So now they can see it. 
And then finally, the players are now in the village of Barovia. And I'm just going to put this icon right here. And we're going to make this a village icon. Uh, village. Village icon. There we go. And so now with this pin turned on and these icons here, when you're all the players will be, um, since you've attributed um, all the players to a single icon, which is this one. This is a party token event. It represents all your party members. Let me turn this off here. Um, and now what you have is you have a map that you can bring up. You can be talking a little bit about your players. Maybe they're going to be leaving the village of Barovia, heading down the, the, the road to another location. And they have an, a frame of reference of maybe how long it's going to take. Well, we want to make it to this bridge. Well, that'll be about two, two, three hours uh, to, to, to get there. Um, maybe two hours by, by uh, horse or maybe three to four hours by foot. And you can plan some encounters over here. Maybe they want to, to camp. So they're getting a frame of reference. They know where their icon is. You can go ahead and move their icon to show them where they are along their adventure. And then when they get to a location is when you can go ahead and create a new journal entry. And so when you do, again, as I, we demonstrated to create a new journal entry, we just open up the, the journals here. And we're just going to click on the little feather and we're gonna create a new journal entry. You're just gonna type in, let's say bridge. And you can type in whatever text you want, include an image in there, and then give this permissions as owner to all your players. And now you have a map uh, as well as journal entries in which your players can update, keep their own notes and references. And this is super helpful for your players because not only are you giving an, them an image of the map, you're giving them a scale of the map, you're showing them where they're located on the map, and you're, allowed, you're giving them abilities to update journal entries of where they've visited maybe important notes and locations where they need to go to. So I hope this uh, video is helpful. If it was helpful, please click like and subscribe to my channel for more information, updates, um, Dungeon Master tips. And we run our own campaign, Legends of Barovia. It's every Thursday, 6 p.m. UTC plus one time. Thanks very much, and may all your roles be critical.